We have Chris Rivera and Will Graham joining us to talk about unemployment and new job opportunities. Chris, this is an unemployment question. It says, why do we need to identify ourselves through ID me? Is this legit? Um, yes, it is legit. Um, individuals are required to verify themselves through ID me because it's now a requirement by DES. So DES several months ago partnered with this organization, it's a national organization in an attempt to reduce the number of fraudulent unemployment claims. And so this company now on behalf of the state unemployment system verifies identity and then communicates that to DES to then further along the processing of the application. All right, so you do have to use ID me. That is the way that it goes. Well, this person is asking, how much experience or education do you need for these job openings and is training available? Big time. Companies are really ramping up the training. They're, they're they're in a great need for people. So the, honestly, the number one thing you need is the willingness and ability to learn. If you have that and, and just the right aptitude to learn, companies are going to train you. Do apply. Don't, don't uh, be hesitant about that. And then also there are industries that got hit very hard um, in the pandemic. But if those industries aren't back, there are transferable skills to every other industry. So for instance, if you were talking to folks in a restaurant industry, well, you might move into the clerical industry or something like that, or you might become a, a supervisor in manufacturing. So transferable skills are definitely out there in a big way. Right, so I guess your, your point, both of you, I would say, would say don't not put yourself in a position to apply for a job just because you think I don't have that exact skill. Yeah, absolutely. I would also offer up that if an, an employer is looking for a specific skill that requires a credential, immediately move over to the community college system. They've really ramped up their quick career, short term training options for you to be able to get in and get the credentials needed and back into the workforce relatively quickly. All right. This is another unemployment question, Chris. This person says, how do you show proof of trying to find a job when applying for unemployment assistance? So an individual would not need to show proof of applying for a job when applying for unemployment benefits. Uh, the law now requires that individuals, once they have been approved to receive benefits, to look for work and maintain records of that and be prepared to provide them upon request of the ES staff. Okay, and the looking for a job and keeping that, that's like something that you keep on your own. Yeah, it's a, a, a journal of sort. Um, you can use NC Works online to, you know, to conduct your job search and it will keep it in your profile there. So if requested, you can just go print that information out from there. All right. Um, Will, this person is asking, are there specific openings available for seniors? 110% absolutely. I think, the, I think employers are looking for everyone in all walks of life. Do not let that discourage you. There are plenty of job openings out and available right now. Frankly, um, experience is needed, life experience is needed as well. So um, pl please do apply. All right, the, another unemployment question for you, Chris. This person says, how long does unemployment assistance last in North Carolina? Uh, currently it lasts, well, the federal benefits will go through uh, the beginning of September, mm -hmm. uh, the state unemployment benefits, uh, if you're on the state system, I believe it's 16 weeks or something like that, but there are federal programs that extend it beyond that. Okay, um, so um, Will, this next question is, is there more part-time openings than full-time openings? Generally, well, there are a lot of openings all the way around. Generally speaking, you see more of uh, full-time openings that makes up about 80% of all job openings. But there are a significant amount of, of part-time openings as well, as well as three quarters, flexible schedule, uh, six hours, eight hours, 10 hours, 12 hours. Um, it, it really does. There, there are a lot of opportunities out there in, in all ways. Literally, clients are hiring always and always right now. Always and always. Okay. Hey, Chris, I know that you have like a top 10 list graphic of the jobs that are out there right now. Yeah, so um, Will kind of made mention of this earlier, you know, what a difference three months make. I mean, in the last 30 days, our system has seen more than 1,300 new jobs that have populated. And so what we've done is we've just kind of extracted out the top 10. So you'll see a high level of uh, production type jobs. Uh, office positions are coming back. We're really excited to see the hospitality industry uh, bouncing back. Um, education and training, uh, transportation and logistics jobs really are out there now. Um, Will just mentioned the majority of these are full-time positions. 
but they have really great wages. Uh, all of those jobs can be found on NC Works online. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, you're looking at a good list of those jobs that are open, and you're saying it is something where people are just basically saying, apply. Apply, apply, apply. <laughs> apply, apply, and apply. Okay. And even if you don't think that it's your skill set, they're also saying there are workshops and there is training out there for you. They're willing to train on the job. Is that right, Will? Yeah, yes, they are. And if you've been unemployed for a while, do think about entering the workforce. Some of the long-term effects of this is, is we worry that skills diminish. Much like muscles, we have to keep them in shape by working. So um, it, it's, it's, it's a worry, big picture on, on the government side. If folks stay too long unemployed, they, they may get left, left by um, new skills that you, on the job skills that you have to learn. So please okay. do re-enter the workforce if you can. All right, so if you missed any of this, you can find the information on our website, WFMYNews2.com. Look in the two wants to know section. There's all the resources for Will, uh, his personal Graham personnel uh, services, and also all the job fairs and the workshops as well.